Hi. Alrighty, part two of our matte foundation behavior. We are going to add the down to the mat, and we're also gonna add the verbal cue mat. So here we go. Three for free to get little Benny's head in the game. Now I have soft treats, so it shouldn't be I shouldn't be fumbling with my food like I was the last round. And I'm gonna use a verbal cue. I mean sorry, a verbal mark. Good. So we are going to uh, actually um, down. Good. So with the down, you might be at the stage where you can just uh, verbal it, hand signal it, or lure it. If you're luring, as always, you're working to quickly fade that lure. So hand target off. Okay. Hand target on and down. Good. Here's what the luring of the down would look like. Hand target off, hand target on. My food is in her nose and I will bring her into the down. Good, good, good. And at this stage in the game, you may be not reinforcing three times on the mat. Maybe you'll do it once, maybe you'll do it twice, maybe you'll do it three times. You'll just alternate. Um, hand target off, hand target on, and there's my down. Good, good, hand target off, hand target on, down, good. There was just a verbal, good, good. Be, co be con cognizant of your hands, you know. When our hands are hanging, and I'm doing it some too, the dog's gonna watch those hands and they're not gonna be focused on what it is you want them to be focusing on. Hand target off, hand target on, verbal down, good hands nice and still there. So now for the final part of these, this foundation mat behavior, we're going to add uh, the, the cue mat. And I'm gonna say mat right as the dog's stepping onto the mat. So hand target off, hand target on, uh, oops, I forgot to say it there, <laughs> good girl. Okay, mat down, good, okay. Mat, down, good, good, good. Okay, mat, down, good, good girl. Okay, alrighty, so you've got lots to work with. Um, in this second part, we focused on uh, adding the down to the mat behavior. And again, it's okay to lower it if you're not there yet, but work to get a nice smooth down on a verbal or a hand signal. And then we added the verbal cue mat. And this is a great foundation that we will start to evolve where we'll add some distractions and some duration so the dog hangs out on the mat, like you see this dog doing, <laughs> and, um, and distance. So you can send the dog to the mat from you know three feet, four feet, 10 feet away. Alrighty, have fun, happy training, and I'll see you soon.